I don't understand. Is there anything in the notebook that I've overlooked? I've followed every lead I could find, even the microscopic ones. I've hit nothing but dead ends. I need to take a break from this before I completely go off the rails. Need I remind you about the article that was due yesterday? I'm almost done with it. Then again, there's always calm before the storm. Ah. Oh. Enough corrections. It's already overdue. I'd rather grab the article and visit Sven before he visits me. Hey! I'm done with the article. Hmm. What? The crime rate report. All done. Right, right. Just leave it there. I'll get to it when I get to it. Leave the article on my desk. I'll get to it later. Bad time? Depends. You in a helpful mood? What seems to be the issue, boss? I want to buy my, um, lady friend a piece of art as a gift. Lady friend, you say? Thing is, I'm not all that familiar with the art world. So you want me to go get a personal gift for somebody I don't know? That would be great. Thanks. I've seen the prices at the gallery. Their stuff must be good, right? I suppose. I'll pay you back afterward. Anna, dear. I'm a bit busy right now. What gave you the impression I'd tolerate you being late, Antoine? It's Anna, actually. Myers. I'm looking to buy a piece of art. Oh dear, your outfit. You're making this whole place look crooked. I'm sorry! No need to reply. I'm holding an art auction at 8 p.m. Not a minute earlier or later. The event is invitation only. You learn yours through hard work. Two invitations, ma'am. Is my memory faulty? What? Is my memory faulty? No. So I haven't asked how many invitations you want, have I? You haven't. I'm glad we're finally on the same page. Bring me a box of bidding paddles from that mess over there. Yes, ma'am. Mind your posture. Reasonable people dislike slouches. Blind, dear. Put the box next to me. You are to take these invitations and arrive on time. Great! I found invitations. Bent or otherwise deformed invitations won't be accepted, naturally. Of course. 
Sorry, but I didn't catch your name. The invitations visibly state that there are two organizers, in a font that's superior to most in terms of readability. Do you really think that I might be Antoine, dear? No, ma'am. And why is that? That's a man's name, ma'am. So, through the taxing endeavor of deductive reasoning, I must be. Marta Landolt. Read through your nose, dear. A lady should not sound like a dying walrus. Now, I've got matters to attend to. You'd be wise to change into something more symmetrical for the auction. This exchange got better by the end. I'll be off with you before you ruin it. What the hell just happened? Hold on. Is that Caroline? You look slightly better than the last time I saw you. Must be the yoga I've been doing. How have you been? Can't complain. Have you seen a plush toy around here? A plush toy? I've decided to give childhood a try. So, have you seen it? No, but I'll help you look for it. That's the one. Thanks. By the way, how's Manu doing? Ask him yourself. He's in the back street. I guess I could spare a minute to see a friend. Let's make an agreement. The man we just met, Leon. 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 We don't talk to Leon. He's a bad man. Playtime! <laughs> Looks like you've gathered quite a following. Somebody has to look after them. You seem to be doing all right, given the circumstances. Yeah, well... Who is this Leon? Should I report him to the police? No. Why are you standing all straight and funny? Oh, just working on my posture. Riveting. Well, I got to go. That was odd. Anyway, I should go and tell Sven about the auction. You're back too early. How so? You don't have a piece of art with you yet. I've got something better. The gallery is holding an art auction soon. I've got us two invites. We'll need to get our checkbooks. Mine's in my office. I'll have to find it. Why do you need your checkbook? I like art too, Sven. Who knows? I might get something as well. Give me a minute to finish up here. In the meantime, go grab your checkbook.
great. I found a checkbook. Got it. Back to Sven. Ready? Yeah, let's go. I'll meet you at the gallery entrance. Shall we? I've got a bad feeling about this. How did you get the invitations anyway? I helped out the new gallery owner, Marta. She gave me these as a reward. Marta? Marta Londolt? That's the one. The Antichrist has returned. I suddenly feel incredibly sick. I'm going home. Get me that piece of art. Thanks and bye. I'm not going in there alone. It's you who needs that piece of art. You're coming with me. I'm leaving as soon as I get something. Welcome to the auction. May I see your invitations? Welcome to the auction. Sven Lange. Marta Lundold, the old devouring. So you've started smoking again. You might want to invest in a better lighter. How did you know? The blisters on his finger line up like he uses his fingernail to sign autographs. Just an allergic reaction to pure evil. Sorry to intrude on your delightful banter. But how do you two know each other? We were married. And we will be again. I'd rather catch fire. Oh, there will be fire. Is this why you're back in town? I'm just here to claim what's mine. Before that, I've got an auction to run. There's one painting I'm certain your little girlfriend will enjoy, Sven. It'll make a great parting gift. Take this. Great! I found a bidding paddle. Good talk. I have so many questions. They're better left unanswered. How does she know about your girlfriend? Witchcraft or ritualistic sacrifice? Maybe a combination of both. The auction is starting. Your attention, please. Today we'll be auctioning off Anton Halter's art collection. Even though my partner for the evening, Antoine himself, couldn't make it. That's no reason to scrap the event, is it? So, without further ado, I invite you to prepare your bidding paddles. We'll be opening the auction with a gorgeous painting. This piece was envisioned and brought to life by Ricardo. Oh! <gasps> Right? Ricardo created this classical composition during the peak of his artistic ability. Given that he was one of the greatest painters of his time, you could say that this piece of art contains the essence of an entire period of cultural history. It's virtually impossible to put a price on that. Nevertheless, we're going to give it a try, shall we? The starting price is 500. We've got our first bid. 550. 700. 900. 1200. We've got 1200. Will anyone go higher? 1200. Going once, going twice. Sold to the lucky man in blue over there. Round of applause. The next work of art provides you with the opportunity to support local artists. Even though its creator prefers to keep their identity concealed. His work is very much in the public eye. If you haven't lost touch with your inner child, 
You'll certainly see the humorous mastery in this piece. Let's get the catfight over this piece started at 150. 400. You're not very good at bargaining, are you? I don't negotiate with terrorists. But that's just a poor financial decision. If I get to leave this place five seconds earlier, it's money well spent. Sold for 400. Congratulations to the gentleman over there. Give him a round of applause. Her stage persona is radically different. It's just one of her many faces. How did you two get together originally? Hypnosis, I think. Anyway, I've got what I've come for. I'm out of here. I must warn you, our next lot isn't for the faint-hearted. While the previous artist brings out the best of Zurich, the next creative endeavor reminds us of the worst of the city. This is more than just a painting of a woman. Is that you did? This is a relic of a tragic story that haunts Zurich. Both the author and the subject of the painting died at the hand of the infamous Dada Killer. Oh, oh, that is beautiful. I have to have this as a token of my respect for them. Raise your paddles to place your bids. Raise your paddles to place your bids. Two hundred. Three hundred. Five hundred. Seven hundred. Eight hundred and fifty. Eight hundred and fifty. Going once, twice. Thirteen hundred. Any advance on thirteen hundred? Give the lady a round of applause. She doesn't flinch in the face of death. Congratulations, miss. Allow me to take your check. Some of you might have already heard rumors about our auction's big ticket item, our grand finale. And I let you in on a secret. The reality is sure to fully live up to your expectations. But don't just take my word for it. Instead... Is that blood? Take a look for yourselves! Oh. Oh. What the...? Marta, go call the police. Ask for Uli Reiter to get here now. Did you take a look at the hands? I did. I recognized the ring. It belongs to Antoine, my auction partner. No wonder he didn't show up. What's going on? A pair of severed hands were placed on one of the auction items. The blood's still fresh. It couldn't have happened more than an hour ago. This is Marta. She ran the auction and identified the hands based on the ring. His name's Antoine Halter. He was expected to attend the event. Looks like he was torn between going and not going. Let's check the envelope. A 
piece of paper and a card. I'll read the paper first. When wealth is earned in unjust ways, it's only a matter of time before karma strikes. It's time for Ah Ha to pay his dues. This man stole from all of us, therefore I invite the whole city to participate. Follow the clues and you'll find portions of his wealth and more. Don't worry, he won't be needing it. Some kind of psycho playing Robin Hood. What does the card say? The professional pretender said, I belong... Above you. I obliged. How did you know that? There are playing cards littering the streets. They all have the same phrase on them. So not only are we trying to catch the killer... We're also in a race with the whole city. If anybody else gets to it first, they'll ruin the evidence. Anna, this particular card looks different from the ones that have been scattered in the streets. I'll need to take that to forensics. I wouldn't keep that if I were you. Marta, right? Finally, someone with decent posture. Yes. Did you notice anything unusual prior to this? Nothing that would make me think murder. However, there are some circumstances I'd deem unusual. Like what? Well, firstly, I would never thought Antoine would sell his collection. Was this his whole collection? No, not even close. He sold the majority of it through regular means. Over the last two weeks or so, we put together the auction for things he didn't manage to sell in the normal fashion. He wanted it all gone, and he wanted it gone quickly. Anything else, officer? A lieutenant, Uri Leiter. The blood's fresh. Did you see anyone messing around? No. Any signs of a break-in? No, but Antoine had a set of keys to the gallery. The killer must have used them. Where were you storing this item before you brought it out on stage? In my office. I'll show you around, Lieutenant. All of the auction items were kept here? Right up to the moment they get wheeled up on stage, yes. Anna, let's see if we can find anything out of the ordinary.